students, Septimo A and Septimo B. This is Miss Mariana. And today we are going to continue working with unit number two. Okay, so pay attention to the following. Uh, today we are going to work on the writing skill, en la habilidad de escritura. And the title for today is an, an announcement. And the objective is to write an announcement for a school event. Okay, so the question for today is, what is an announcement? Do you know what is the meaning of announcement in Spanish? Yes or no? If you are not sure of what an announcement is, please pay attention to the following video. Now we are going to watch a very, very short video about what is an example of an announcement. Pay attention. Good morning, school. Please listen carefully to these announcements about school uniforms. It is important to respect the school uniform. Please remember, girls shouldn't wear trousers. All girls must wear a purple skirt and you must wear white socks. You shouldn't wear black or gray socks. Boys can wear a pullover under their purple blazer. The pullover must be blue. It can't be gray or purple. That's the end of this morning's announcement. Okay, that was a very short video, as I said before, about an example of what an announcement is. So now, do you know what is an announcement? <clears throat> yes? No? Well, let's see. What is an announcement? An announcement is a short text that contains information about facts, events, or intentions. An announcement can be written or spoken to be presented to a specific group of people. In other words, in Spanish, that said, an announcement is un anuncio. And an announcement can be written, which means escrito, or spoken Um, de manera oral, okay? Like in the previous video, como en el video que acabamos de ver, the announcement given by the teacher was spoken, okay? And in that announcement, the teacher uh, mentioned the um, rules for a, a proper school uniform, okay? So, um, for any announcement written or spoken, you need to follow some steps. Okay, which are compulsory, son obligación estos pasos. And the steps are this. Let's look. Steps to write an announcement. First, you need to uh, mention what is the event. For example, back to school party. It's a party to um, after vacations, uh, which is una fiesta de bienvenida al año escolar. Okay. Next step is where. You need to mention where is taking place this uh, event. Okay? ¿Dónde va a llevarse a cabo este evento? For example, school gym. Uh, the next step is the date. That means day and time. For example, Friday, which is the day of the week. August 30th from a uh, quarter to four to five o'clock. Okay, here we have the day, uh, the month, we, uh, with the specific day of the month, and the time. All these is the date, la fecha. Okay, so let's continue with the next step. <clears throat> you also need to include the purpose, which in Spanish means propósito. Example, to welcome our new school year with our friends. Okay, eh, la bienvenida al nuevo año escolar con nuestros amigos. Next step, what happens in, in the event? In the event? Um, for example, photo booth, which is a cabina fotográfica, games, etc. <clears throat> what are you offering in this event? ¿Qué es lo que tú ofreces para este evento? And the last step, <clears throat> which is other information or extra information, for example, price, 
<coughs> sorry, if it's not free, if you need to pay a ticket, for example, to enter to a party, or a special clothes, etc. Okay, so now let's see how all these steps are into um, a written announcement. Vamos a ver todos estos pasos en un ejemplo de un anuncio escrito. Here is the example. As you can see, here we have the event, which is back to school dance. We have the price, which is $2. Uh, what happens, photo booth and games. Here we have the date, Friday, August 30th. Uh, well, that was very old, 2019. Uh, the time, quarter to four to five o'clock, where the place, uh, where is the gym. And pay attention to this part, no heels or boots. This part with red, as you can see at the end, is with um, exclamation signs, los signos de exclamación. These uh, signs, estos signos, indicate uh, imperative form, una forma imperativa o obligación. Okay? In this case, for my party, the obligation uh, is no heels or boots. No se permiten tacos o botas. So that's why at the end I included these signs. Por eso incluí al final estos signos para darle emphasis, que es una obligation. Okay? So now, we already um, mentioned the different steps to write an announcement, to um, a written announcement. So now it's time to work on our book. Okay? So please, dear students, uh, Septimo and Septimo B, I need you open your book on page number 27, okay? Página 27, and let's start working. The first activity here um, is this photo about a school event. <coughs> Sorry for that, uh, un evento escolar, in which the instruction says, match the photo with one of the events below. Is it a good way to raise money? Do you think? Why and why not? The first part here is that you have to match the correct name of this school event. What's the name? It's a concert or it's a musical or maybe a play, which is a obra. Uh, it's a school camp. It's a school club. It's a school trip or sports day. What is the best of these events, um, the best event for this photo, okay? And then we have the question, is it a good way to raise money, do you think? ¿Es una buena estrategia para juntar dinero? Yes or no? And why? Why not? ¿Por qué es tu respuesta? This answer prepared orally for our next meet session. Next activity. <clears throat> Activity number two, read the announcements, match each with an event from an exercise one. Then check the meaning of all the events. Here we have two announcements. Here we have number one, and here we have number two. The first, things, uh, the first thing you need to do is to write next to the, event, uh, to the announcement, puedes escribirlo acá al ladito, <clears throat> what's the name of the type of announcement? According to exercise one, recordemos los eh, eh, events que fueron mencionados en el, ex, en el ejercicio anterior. Could be musical, concert, school trip, school camp, play, etc. You need to fix, uh, to fit one of those events uh, for each one of these, okay? What's the name of this one, of this announcement? And what's the name of the second announcement, okay? Remember, uh, we are going to check these activities. Vamos a revisar estas actividades la próxima sesión Meet. Séptimo A conmigo, séptimo B with Miss Sandra. So let's continue. Number three, read the learn this box. Find line examples of imperatives in the announcement in exercise two. First, here we have a box about imperatives. Tenemos un recuadro sobre imperativos. The imperatives, as I said before in the PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation, um, are used to give orders and instructions as 
as you can see here, on to make request, para hacer requerimientos. Uh, in the case, in the example, in the case of the example I show you, I used the imperative no heels no, or no boots to make um, an order, to give an order. And the order was that was a prohibition to, to attend to my party with heels or boots. En el caso de mi ejemplo, eh, la orden que yo les daba en el anuncio fue que no se podía asistir a mi fiesta con tacos o botas. So, as you remember, at the end of the announcement, or as uh, at the end of that uh, order, I included that, uh, those signs. Al final de esa, de esa orden, yo incluí los signos de ex exclamación, que te pueden ayudar para indicar una, un, un imperativo. So, we have here, we form affirmative imperatives with the infinitive form of the verb without to. For example, be quiet, write the answer in your notebook, please sit down, okay? Uh, we form negative imperatives with the word don't and the infinitive form of the verb without to. For example, don't be silly, please don't interrupt. Here we have two examples of imperatives. In the first one, we can see that with the sign, con el signo, and in the next, in the second example, we do not include the sign, but it's also imperative, yeah? Um, a pesar de que no tenga el signo de exclamación, igual se da a entender que es una orden, okay? So let's continue. Um, in the previous two announcements uh, from exercise two, you need to find nine examples of imperatives. And you have, you can uh, highlight or underline or circle the examples in your uh, book. Vas a, puedes destacar, eh, subrayar o encerrar en un círculo los nueve ejemplos de imperativos que encuentres en los dos announcements del ejercicio anterior. So let's continue. Exercise number four, complete the sentences with the verbs below. Use affirmative or negative imperatives. Remember that affirmative is just the way it is here. Bring, call, forget, miss, put, and visit. But if you are um, using negative imperatives, imperatives, you need to include the word don't before the, word, the, the verb. Uh, for example, don't bring or don't call, don't forget, don't miss, don't put, don't visit. That way you make the negative form, okay? So once you finish, we continue. Let's move on to the next exercise. Exercise number five. But before we have a writing strategy, says, make sure that you include all the information required in the task. As you make notes in preparation, tick off the key, uh, the key points uh, in the task as you deal with them. This is a um, writing strategy, una estrategia para escribir. Eh, en, en palabras simples y en español es hacer un borrador, ya tener un borrador de lo que tú vas a escribir, tomar apuntes de las eh, ideas principales para luego escribir un texto. Y para complementar esta estrategia, se te da esta actividad. Pay attention. Read the writing strategy, then <coughs> read the task and make notes using the questions below to help you. The homework is, you are organizing an event at your school. Write an announcement to publicize the event and encourage people to attend. Remember, you include information about the time and place of the event and how people can attend. Remember that attend means asistir. So, you are um, preparing an announcement, a written announcement, not spoken, escrito, okay? Uh, for a uh, school event, para un evento escolar, can be a party, can be a trip, could be, I don't know, um, a sleepover, as you want. Any event, a school event you want to organize. And to make easier, uh, you need to follow the steps I, I taught you before in the PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation. So you need to uh, answer these questions about the uh, steps to organize your school event. For example, number one, 
You can answer here in your book or in your English copybook. Puedes responder aquí mismo o en tu cuaderno de inglés. First, you need to write what is the event. Is a party? Is a um, cinema? I don't know. A day? A sleepover? A trip? The what is the event you are organizing? Then number two, where? Where is taking place this event? At the gym of a school? Uh, um, I don't know. In the yard of a school, etc. Number three, uh, date. Day and time. You need to include the date, uh, in other words, day and time. Where is taking place? Sorry, when is taking place? When? Cuando? Number four, what is the purpose of the event? Why are you doing this school event? Maybe uh, to raise money for your class, para juntar dinero para el curso, or maybe just for having fun. Uh, as you want to describe your purpose. Number five, what happens? What do you offer in your event? Okay, what are you offering? Maybe photo booth or games, as I mentioned in my example, or I don't know, uh, different types of food, what, as you want. And number six, other information. Maybe if you need to uh, pay for the tickets or a phone number or website, maybe Facebook, Instagram to uh, make questions as you want, okay? So you need to complete these six steps to organize your school event, your written uh, announcement, okay? So let's continue to the next activity. Check your, your work, okay? That's the last part. Once you finish uh, doing your answers or answering your questions about the six steps to write an announcement, uh, you, have to check, you have to check if you use some imperatives, include all the information in exercise five, and check your spelling and grammar. Remember, you only need to answer these questions, okay? Uh, you need to think on the type of event it is organized by you, where is taking place, when is taking place the event, what's the purpose, what do you offer or what happens in this event, and other or extra information you want to give. <clears throat> okay, so remember, we are going to check these, all these activities uh, from page 27 on our next uh, mid session on Tuesday, October the 6th. Vamos a revisar todas estas actividades terminadas el martes 6 de octubre, la sesión mid, séptimo A with me, séptimo B with Miss Sandra. Okay, so, um, hope you take care, stay at home, and see you next time. Okay, bye bye.